Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hey, sorry. I didn't answer your call. But thanks for listening to this part of the voicemail message. And I hope you leave a message because I would like to listen to it. Oh, and this is Basil. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, leave your message after the tone. Okay, cool, thank you, bye. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm a little too obsessed with the game Raft now. Uh, D and I got it uh, after watching this YouTuber named Socks for One uh, play it for 24 hours straight, and D got obsessed with it, and I was like, hey, you know what, this looks, this looks like a game that we could engage in together, uh, and maybe it'll convince you to stop playing Hello Neighbor so much, because that game just frustrates me, that's all it does, it just frustrates me, uh, but Raft is frustrating, but it progresses. That's all I need from a game that is frustrating. Just show me show me the little tally marks. Like, things are happening. We are moving forward. You're not just stuck on this level because the platforming is too difficult. I'm looking at you, Celeste. God damn it. I keep wanting to pick Celeste up again and to just beat it, to just finish it, but it's just like this, this part that I'm on. I even watched a video of someone speed running the whole final chapter, and the section that I'm stuck on is like in the first, it's in the very beginning of it, and I'm like, it's already so fucking hard to like catch this floaty space mushroom and bounce it off the spikes and jump dash and wave dash and blah 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 I I liked the rest of Celeste I, although admittedly I was less impressed um, than I thought I was going to be I was less impressed by the story and the gameplay because that's what everyone was raving about. I mean, I felt like, I feel like when Celeste came out, the internet was full of like white dudes who were marginally in touch with their emotions, talking about how Celeste changed their life. And I'm not, I'm poking fun at it, but not really, because like, cool, anything should reconnect you to your emotions and make you more aware. I, I hope that this is a long standing thing. Uh, get in therapy, but whatever. Little pieces do things. But I was just impressed with the the little details. I was not impressed with some of the puzzles. Because it's just like, I wasn't going to guess that I needed to jump in the direction of the color of the birds. What the fuck? Admittedly, I stopped giving a shit about Celeste when I started there's a mosquito in my dashboard somewhere I'm sorry but I hope it stays there and it dies trapped hidden away from me and my delicious blood fucking mosquitoes my interest in Celeste stopped when I looked up how to do something and it was just like I don't even remember where it was in the game, but I was just like, how the fuck do I do this? It might have it might have been the Crystal Hearts. I beat the whole game pretty straightforward. It was fine. It was a quick, I don't know, like three hours or whatever. It was fun. But then it was like, I looked up how to get the Crystal Hearts so that I could unlock the final, final level. And looking up where the Crystal Hearts was was just like, there is... There was zero chance that I was going to find any of these fucking crystal hearts. Where did you... 
I get that it's like fun to just be hard. I don't. It's not. It's not for me. It's not for me. I want things to make sense. Uh, I want to feel progress. It's not for me. It's fine. Celeste was fine. I don't really care. But Raft is super glitchy, too. That's what I was trying to talk about. I guess I'm talking about Celeste. Anyway, uh, call me back. Uh, bye. Oh, uh, this is Basil. Okay, bye.